Now this one. Who thought we'd be great in this one at the beginning of the season? Northwestern has promoted interim head coach slash sitting defensive coordinator David Braun to head coach. This man went seven and five, inheriting a roster and a team, a program that was in dismay after Pat Fitzgerald was, in my opinion, wrongfully let go for some of that hazing scandal stuff over the offseason. And this program looked like it was in shambles. Their win total was just three. They were expected to only be a two, three win team. And we were like, yeah, they'd be lucky to win three games. Well, this man just yeah. went interim coach and went seven and five. Second in the Big Ten West. And you know what he also did? He won Big Ten Coach of the Year. David Braun, Big Ten <laughs> Coach of the Year I as an it. interim. So they said, you're going to be our new head coach. Man, this is a heck of a story, man. I know it's Northwestern. They don't get a lot of love and attention, but this this is a heck of a story in and of itself that's not getting a lot of love from national media. But what are your thoughts on this? What's your grade on this hire? Like, I have to try and, and bifurcate the story of 2023 into the future in formulating this grade. And with all that in mind, I will go and give it an A. Minus. A minus. I'll give him the lowest day I can. Because, I mean, who else are you gonna attract to come north to Northwestern? Like you said, you said you said it all. This man did a lot with nothing in, in a crazy situation over there. I think it just makes sense. Like I don't know outside of maybe a G five coach trying to land a payday, you know, who else would seriously have taken the Northwestern job and then taken it you know, with an expectation of, oh, I'll, I'll be successful here, sure. Which I guess every coach thinks. But I know in the back of their mind, some of them are like, yeah, I'll, I'll just get paid. And, you know, if they fire me in three years, you know, whatever. So I think for Northwestern, the expectation should be a bowl game, maybe upset a big dog every now and then, and see how your schedule plays out with the Big Ten West eroding into, into nothingness now, unfortunately. So, all in all, I think it is a fantastic hire for the Northwestern Wildcats. You're giving it an A-. minus Now, David Braun, he was the former defensive coordinator in North Dakota State from 2019 to 2022. So, calling the plays for a pretty good defense at the FCS level. Won a few national championships as well. So, I don't know. This guy, based on the sheer record from the Northwestern this year, this guy can coach. And it's it was a difficult situation. I gave him all that praise and everything. I'm going to give this a B plus. And here's why I'm not giving it an A. And that is kind of the same line of thought that you had there, Gonzo. Listen, one season is not a big enough sample size to, to say whether or not this guy is for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, a good coach or not. We all know that. I mean, Ed Orgeron won a national championship and went 15-0, and had one of the greatest seasons ever as LSU head coach. And you tell me from that season, would you say he's a great head coach? No. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect timing there. For those of you listening, Gonzo held up his, uh, he's got Coach O on his shirt right now. That, that couldn't have been any sweater. better. <laughs> Christmas sweater. <laughs> but yeah, you get the point here. But I will say in terms of the process to get this hire, you hit the, you hit the nail on the head right there. Who else is Northwestern going to get? It makes total sense to just promote a guy from within that you know is competent and could compete and win games at the, towards the bottom of the Big Ten at that level, and that's what he did. So in terms of the process, I like it. In terms of the candidate itself, it's pretty promising, but one year sample size is not enough for me to say, oh yeah, that's an A. So I'm going to give it a B plus, just about as good as you can possibly do with small sample size, I give it a B plus, Gonzo an A minus. But yeah, that's a hell of a story right there, man. And you know, it did feel a little icky for me not giving it an A, but you know, especially with the story and everything. But well, we'll see. I mean, honestly, I I almost feel like I overvalued it. But to to win Big Ten Coach of the Year over, well, obviously, I guess Harbaugh was never going to win it now with all that going yeah. <laughs> going on. But you know, over the usual suspects. I, I think it's an absolute fantastic feat. And again, like it's an under I'm happy to miss on. Like seriously good for Northwestern. 
Absolutely. Hey, somebody had to give it an A minus and you gave it to him. So I'm happy that one of us did it. 